How to Bounce Your Pecs, Lesson 2, Developing Mind-Muscle Connection. In our first lesson, we talked about building mass, and I hope you are well on your way to developing lots of upper body mass. In today's lesson, we'll talk about developing the mind-muscle connection. And then finally, in our third lesson, we'll talk about practicing and showing off. Let's get started. You use your muscles every day to move without thinking about it. When you're pec bouncing, you're consciously isolating a muscle and moving only that muscle and maybe a few muscles nearby. Let's play a game. Simon says. Simon says, raise your hand. Simon says, smile. Simon says, hunch your shoulders. Simon says, shake your head. Simon says, stand up and bend over. That wasn't hard. You had to flex quite a few muscles to do all of those movements. Now, raise both arms to the side and then flex at the elbows. To do that, you had to flex your biceps. But you'll notice that my biceps don't really look flexed. Now do that again, but this time tense your biceps. It will help to tense them if you make a fist. Now you can see more of the muscle, but more importantly, you consciously used your brain to tense the muscle more than it needed to be in order to make the motion. That's the mind-muscle connection. Consciously making a muscle flex. Athletes know about this all the time. They practice it a lot until they can do the specific motions necessary for their sport until it happens unconsciously. Now, let's practice. Raise one arm to the side and flex it, but don't tense it. Now tense it like this. You can see my biceps get big and maybe you can see yours swell too. But if you don't have a highly developed biceps, you can certainly feel it tense up. Now do that eight times and then do the same thing with the other arm, eight times. Now put both arms up, but don't tense them, and then make a muscle with both biceps at the same time, eight times. Now alternate them. Get the idea of how to connect a muscle to your mind. Now I know you might not have biceps quite as big as mine, but you can still feel your biceps tensing as you force it to contract, right? It's a little harder to do this with your pecs because the pecs are connected to a lot more muscles. So we're not as aware of it when we do tense them. The pecs help us move our arms across our body like this and to push things away from us like this. That's why we do presses and flies 
in the gym to build pecs. Put your right hand on your left pec. Raise your left arm and bring it across your body like this. You can probably feel the muscle tense up a little, especially the farther across your body your arm gets. Now with your hand still on your pec and your left arm bent with your hand near your pec, push your hand out away from your body. You might not feel much motion until your arm is almost straight. Keeping your hand on your pec, move your arm around in different positions and just feel when your pec tenses. Switch arm and do these exercises a lot until you can really feel the motion inside your pecs. Now you may be saying, but I don't have a big muscular chest like Muscle Daddy Mark. Doesn't matter, you got the same muscles I do. They move the same way mine do. Move your arm around and feel the way your pec tenses and relaxes as you move your arm. You might need to practice these exercises for a long time before moving on to isolating your pecs, but practice it every day. When you're ready, do it just like we did with the biceps. Try tensing both pecs at once. If you have trouble, Bring both arms across your body at a low angle and look and feel what your pecs are doing. Do this over and over. And as you build up your chest muscles, eventually you'll be able to feel and see lots of movement in your pecs. Each time you practice, try to move your arms less and less until you can keep them pretty still. And voila, you're bouncing your pecs. Now practice one peck at a time. Alternating. Going fast and then slow. And before you know it, you'll be giving Muscle Daddy Mark a run for his money. But remember, building lots of muscle mass and connecting the movement of those muscles to your mind takes a long time and a lot of practice. But keep working at it because it's a lot of fun to bounce your pecs. And next time, I'll tell you how to really show them off. <laughs>